big pot there on 18 for you. Yeah, it's nice to finish bogey free. Um, play a lot better today. Uh, felt, felt like I had a lot of ground to catch up with the, the leaders uh, kind of going deep yesterday. Um, so hopefully it won't be too far back and uh, go out early tomorrow and try and post another low score and see where that takes me. Did you have a number in mind this morning that you wanted to get to to, to get back in contention? Or? I mean, anything 500 or better should be a pretty respectable score out here. Uh, any less than that, you kind of feel like you lose ground. So, six under was uh, a lot of good work, uh, had a lot of good looks. Um, yeah, I mean, hopefully, like I said, they won't run away with it. But uh, there's a lot of birdies out there, so. What's your game plan tomorrow heading into the final round? I'm obviously going to tee off a little bit earlier than the leaders. Obviously, try and post a number. That's all I can do at this point. Um, um, but um, it's a great golf course, and kind of the way they, I love the way they set it up. I mean, they invite us to make eagles uh, go for greens. Um, so uh, hopefully they'll do that tomorrow as well, and uh, everyone will keep seeing low numbers. This really turned into a second shot week, didn't it? Kind of. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I mean, even though if it's a lot of birdie chances, you still got to make all the putts. So unless you hit them to gimmies every time. But uh, uh, I like the course. It's very scorable, which is kind of fun, and very scorable par fives. I mean, you can make up your ground there if you kind of hit some good shots, and uh, if you make a birdie or two or three on some of the par threes and the par fours, uh, you should be in good play. But like I said, you got to go out tomorrow and try to shoot as low as you can.